Ladies and gentlemen, Tati Hovans here and welcome to a news update. Now we've got some news from ATV and also there's been a, a report written up on the RSI site. There's going to be links in the description as well. First off, let's start talking about the player interaction system that's going to be improved. Now what this is, is it's how you interact with your ship from an external and internal and also other items inside the world. Example, this could be you're inside your ship, you want to press maybe one of the switches and one of the buttons. It'd be a lot easier for you to aim on that switch and physically press it. In its current state, it's very, very difficult. In the same way that it's quite challenging sometimes to get inside of your ship if you don't know which direction to physically look. So that's going to be a welcome improvement. Now something that will be coming up in 3.0 is going to be the breathing statuses. As you run, you get out of breath, that causes weapon sway and so on. They did this in armor and I played armor without it and then I played armor with it. I didn't really like it, I'm going to be honest. I'm hoping that it, it doesn't affect it too much. I'm hoping the stamina, you're not inhibited too much so you can't run that far and you're just going to run out of breath and you're going to have sway all the time. You can only run 10 feet. There's a fine balance between getting it right and wrong here. I'm hoping they get it right. But for me, I'd rather not even have it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. While we're on the topic of characters, we're going to be seeing new mechanics come into play, like suit punchers. It's either going to be really annoying or it's going to be good. I definitely agree there needs to be suit punchers, but I'm making the assumption once you get shot, there'll be a puncher. Will it heal itself? Will you have to repair it? We're also going to see decompression as well of different zones. We did see a video quite some time ago now about how the decompression of different areas works and how the flood control works as well between one room to the other. So if you open one door, room will depressurize as well, but at a slightly lower rates. Something that they're testing at the moment is moving the UI inside of the helmet. I think this is a good call. I think there's a lot of challenges there because obviously a lot of the things inside the HUD might be very, very small. And also then you still have to overcome when you're not wearing your helmet. It does look good what they've preliminary done so far. So I'll be looking forward to see where that's going in the future. We've seen a lot of work on the outposts as well. We've seen obviously the exterior pictures. They've been putting a lot more work into the interior and features inside of these outposts as well to make them a bit more immersive as well. So they're definitely shaping up and looking good. We're going to need these because obviously once we go into 3.0, we're going to be landing on planets and there will be outposts there. So no doubt these will be the ones we'll be seeing. We've had some more information on a couple of the guns as well that are going to be coming in later on. We can see some of the animations and sound effects for them as well. The rail gun and also the Devastator shotgun as well. Look pretty cool. And I guess the bigger part of the news here, which was quite impressive actually, was the tour around the Javelin. I wasn't expecting the Javelin to be progressed that far. What they've done is they have used a large percentage of the Idris to complete that ship from an interior point of view. Obviously the exterior is 100% unique, but clearly this has sped up the process and there was a lot of learning curve for RSI on the Idris. I should imagine that that definitely sped up the process as well. It has got bigger apparently as well, slightly bigger than the original specification. But this follows suit with pretty much all of the larger ships because they've all got bigger so far. They have made some changes as well to the Javelin and this was due to some feedback from the community and that was the front bar that runs across the screen. This was inhibiting the field of view going forward because if you're on the second deck you couldn't see out the window. It's basically a blind spot. So what they've done is they've redesigned the front end and removed that physical bar. So now you've got a clear view of what's coming towards you. We've had a update as well on the whole C series. This is the uh, cargo hauler. It looks quite progressed from an exterior point of view. We've also had a new update to the schedule system. And this is what projects the dates of completion for this year anyway. This includes the completion date for 3.0 and it's the 29th of the 6th, 2017. There's a link in the description as well. There's also a link down there to a full plan until the end of the year as well. I couldn't display it in the video because it's quite a, it's like an A3 image, but have a look and check it out yourself. What ships can we expect to see in 3.0? We're going to be seeing the Dragonfly, the Cutlass Black, the Connie Aquila, and also the RSI Rover. So 
Not only are we going to see the uh, reworks of these ships and obviously the new ships as well, we're also going to see the RSI rover and actually get to try it out on the planet. So I'm really looking forward to that. And finally, if you're looking to join Star Citizen as well, check out the link in the description below. That will give you some credits as well when you sign up. That's everything from me, guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.